Hello everybody, I'm Katie Burtwell from the Walpole Historical Commission. And I'm Betsy Dyer from the Walpole Historical Society. When we began to plan for Walpole 300, we decided to ask Walpole seniors their memories about living in our town. We taped the interviews and now it's time for everyone to see them. Walpole Media will publicize the names of each person along with the dates each interview will be shown. The history of a small town like Walpole is not just about the big mill owners and politicians like the Birds and the Lewises and the Plimptons. It's really all about who was living there, working there, going to school, how they were part of this community and living their everyday lives. I think historians of Walpole 100 years from now will be grateful to come across these transcripts or tapes because these are part of the real Walpole history they'll be interested in. And I think you're going to enjoy these. Maybe you know the person that's being interviewed, but perhaps you just enjoy a good story and there are lots of good stories here. So sit back and learn about Walpole history from those who live it. This is Stories of Historic Walpole. Hi everybody, I'm Katie Burtwell with Stories of Historic Walpole and today we're interviewing Priscilla McKenzie. And, Hi. <laughs> and how long have you lived in Walpole? I've lived in Walpole on um, Pleasant Street in East Walpole. Yeah. And um, I lived there and so I, you know, East Walpole was my place. <laughs> yes, and, and of course the place was bird, bird and nothing but bird. Well, we that's where everybody of, worked. We had a lot of, oh, right, 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 everybody worked in. My father worked at Bird Machine Company Did in it? South Walpole. Yes. I live in South Walpole now. And um, it's lovely. I love the town. And um, I have a lot of good memories, you know, from growing up. So what was, what was um, your life like as a kid? Like at, during summers, what did you and your friends do? Well, I'm the youngest of five kids, and um, we, in the summers, the Bird Park had a program where they would um, have like games and they'd open up the game room at the grandstand there in the park. Yes. And they would open up, there's rooms in there with games, and from like one to three would go and play all kinds of things, and um, you know, it was, it was fun. Did you swim? Yes, <laughs> I, I knew did. It. I did. With the and, little um, frogs with the water squirting out of their mouths. Yeah, that was great. I passed the frog test, not to brag or anything, <laughs> but I passed, and I was so you know really afraid. And I I dove in, and I had to swim to the frogs, back to the dam, swim back to the frogs, and back. And yep, right here. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, it was for, great. For a little kid, that's a long way. Yeah, yeah. And we had the, uh, you know, the little dressing rooms that are still, the outline is still there from where they were. And, um, you know, we'd all go over to the snack bar across the street yeah. and where Piggy Lawton's is. It was yes. a movie theater. Yes. And that was fabulous. What was yeah. the name of that theater? I don't know. The one downtown was The Elite, I think. But I, I don't know the, what they called the one in East Walpole. Yeah, I, I don't know what it was, but I just remember my friend Patty, she didn't want to go to school, and she put poison ivy, don't do this at home, she put <laughs> poison ivy on her. Oh my God, And she no. really got, like, and she went to the movies with me with all the calamine all over <laughs> her. And, Oh yeah, it's like, learn your lesson. <laughs> it's either a lesson or a blessing, right? Yes. Um, so when did, um, being in East Walpole, would you have gone to the bird school mm -hmm. for grade school? Yeah. And that's where the condos are today. That's correct. Yeah. yeah. And um, if you're a little child, I, we would walk to school every day and um, yeah. the um, fencing around the bird park, there's, it's very pointy, you know, and um, it was just like sometimes we'd think about what if we trip and, you know, get impaled on the pointy fence. Holy crow. <laughs> yeah, we were active like that. Yeah. 
but it was a lot of fun. You know, bird school was great. And um, I don't know if anybody here remembers H bars. H bars was a it was an ice cream that you could get after lunch, and they were really good. Chocolate covered vanilla ice cream. <sighs> yes. And um, let me think. What else? Uh, every once in a while, my mother would give me a quarter, and I would walk down to. Um, the drugstore, which is at where the Bird Park Cafe was, yes, and yes. The, you know the um, clock tower. Yep. And for a quarter, we'd get five candy bars, and one of them being butter brickles. Have you ever heard of butter brickles? Oh yes. Well, you know they're they were in a gold wrapper with red lettering, and they were fabulous. And um, now, did you like Sky Bars? Yeah, like Sky Bars. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad they're still selling them. Yeah, not butter brickles, but no. <laughs> um, and Mr. Bernice was the uh, the pharmacist there, and they had like um, soda fountain chairs. It was really awesome, really awesome. And um, you know, and then there was um, at the clock tower way up top, Mr. Jenks. He was uh, he had an office up there, and he was an insurance person. And um, I don't know, he's really nice. We used to always go and say hi to him and huh. dance in the little clock tower area. <laughs> Isn't that neat? You could actually go up there. Yeah, we could go up there. And it was uh, Dr. Norcross was up there. He was a dentist. And um, there was, you know, there was a dry cleaner there, Alan Ann. And there was um, a little uh, five and dime store as well. And Rocky's, you know, new stand was there, and um, yeah, it was a great time. That's that's wonderful to re to recollect that because what I found in doing research on that building is there's really no list of what built, you know, businesses were there, mm -hmm. and you just told yeah. us mm -hmm. so. And there was a little um. There, then there was, um, as time went on, there was a, a secondhand shop there in the building, and there was also a secondhand shop where Magic Scissors is, right yes. across from the post office. Yep. And, yeah, bring Walt East Walpole back, you know? That would be great. Yeah, I'm praying that somebody develops that mm -hmm. area again. It's been too long. Yeah, I think so, it's in the works. Yeah, I hope so. So tell me about junior high. Junior high school, well, um, you know, I went to Bird Middle School and um, we, I had a lot of friends. I was a cheerleader for Pop Warner and I just saw a picture of my girl, the cheerleading squad, like from a long time ago. And um, junior high school was fun. And my son went to Bird Middle School. I went to Bird Middle. I had a lot of friends. And um, we would hang around in the park. And, um, you know, it was, it was good. I had a great um, English teacher, Mr. Cannon. And, um, you know, he was very progressive, and that was fun. And, he influenced you in a good way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, you, the, just the fact that you remember him and are memorializing him. Is, is a wonderful thing. Yeah. Yep. So what year did you graduate from Walpole High? Um, for the, I graduated 1972. We just had our 50th reunion. Yes. And that was fabulous. And it was like I walked through the door and I said, oh, everybody's grown up, you know. <laughs> it's just sort of, it was great. It was great. 50 years. Isn't yeah. that incredible? Yeah, and I'm very fond of Watson's chocolates. Oh yeah. And um, when I had, um, when I got married, I lived on Clapp Street, which is right across from the high school, and I yeah. walk around town, and um, you know, we'd always go to Watson's and yeah. watch Mr. Hilliard, and you know, all these people. It was cool. The lady in the window. That's right. That's Dipping right. and twirling the yeah. confections. I'm, gl I'm so glad Watson's is still around because yeah. uh, we bought a big box of this, that, and the other thing. And my one of my granddaughters tasted one of the things, and she says, "I want this for the rest of my life." Oh. And I thought, "Oh, isn't that terrific? You know that they're still 
making kids happy yeah. after, yeah. gosh, a, almost 100 years. Yeah. yeah, Virginia Tracy owns Watson's, and, um, you know, sorry, Virginia, but I gave up sugar. <laughs> <laughs> I gave up sugar two months ago, three months ago almost, and... Um, Won't do you any harm. Well, it, I was... During COVID, sometimes I'd go and spend $150. Yeah. I would leave it on the step and, uh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> but it's not those days anymore. Yeah. So tell me about your life after high school. Well, high school, um, we had a lot of friends driving around. Um, I moved to Pennsylvania, then I came back. Um, you know, my best friend Lisa, we lived in Norwood for a brief time. Um, I, uh, you know, worked as a dental assistant my life. Did 45 you? years of pediatric, it was awesome. I was in a punk band. All and, right. Uh, yeah, I came back here to Walpole. Yeah. And um, I'm excited, you know, life is good. I love this senior center. I gave a class here last week. And did it you? Was what, wonderful. What was it? What it did was you teach? Diamond Dots, and it's um, you take gems and it's like a Mandela piece of paper. It's like uh -huh. paint by numbers, but with gems, and they're beautiful. And I had 15 people here, and they were all awesome. That's terrific. That yeah. sounds like a lot of fun, actually. Yeah. Yeah. And I remember. Um, I remember every spring, every April vacation would always have a carnival here in Walpole. Yes. And I don't know, I always thought it was because every every time it rained during April vacation, but I think it might be because they did that ball field over, but I don't know, and that was a lot of good memories. Yeah, they had the, they had the um, you know, the, all the rides and so yeah. forth, and it always rained. Yeah. No matter what we did, it, they did. Came, it rained for days. It was it. You could just call it. Yeah, my son. He <laughs> thought he lived there. You know, because we were so close. Yes. You know, it's like we don't live there, <laughs> but we'll go. <laughs> so, are you still on Clapp Street? I live on Shufelt right now, up in South Walpole. That's right. And it's South Walpole out. is charming. It's and, beautiful. Um, yeah, it's really pretty. There's so many great areas in Walpole. You know. Uh, I love living in the center because it was so close to everything. Um, and, um, you know, up in South Walpole, I knew a lot of people that lived in South Walpole growing up. Because your dad worked at Bird Machine. Yeah, too. he worked there. And uh, just all my friends, a lot of the, the boys were from South Walpole. And, you know, so it was, it was a good time. And there were a lot of factories there, a lot of people worked there. Yeah. Yeah. And then there was the old Polly Tavern and the, yes. the little store. The Polly Tavern. The, the yeah. they, they tore that down. Oh, the little country store. Yes. Oh, that was so wonderful there. Bill owns it. And uh, yeah, he still owns the, the property. This yes, he, gentleman that had the country store. Yeah. Country store, yeah. And um, yeah, it's good. And Boyden School is pretty cool. <laughs> it is. I substitute taught there a little bit last year, Did and you? it was really fun. And um, yeah, so now my my son lives in Walpole. He lives in East Walpole, and yes. he bought the he bought a house on um, a street. <clears throat> and a boy that I graduated from high school with all his family grew up in that house, and I didn't know about it. And they found something in the wall, like a a, a library card of his sister. <laughs> And then I reached out and said, Paul, my son bought your house. Come to find out he is born on the exact same day as me. That's so strange. Yeah. So we're now we're Facebook friends. And, uh, but yeah, I'm like, who's older, you or me? <laughs> you know, that's pretty cool. And um, let me see. Yeah, East Walpole, my best friend, Debbie Williams, we used to, I'd leave my house and walk to her house and we'd hang out and have spaghetti hoes and just really, you know, it's great to be alive. It's good to be, yes. you know, from here. And, yeah. It sure is. Yep. It sure is. Yeah. It's changed a lot, but I still love it. Yeah. We used to have a youth center up at the center of the town. Yep. 
you know, and have dances there every all the time. And um, I think the first time I ever sang publicly might have been there. I think I sang, um, a, you know, a, a, what is it? I can't think of her name. Grace Slick. And, uh, right. you know, <laughs> yeah, some band was playing, I just got up and sang. And <laughs> that's, that's awesome. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Was so. that in uh, Blackburn or was that the old town hall? That was Blackburn. Yeah. 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 And then Leo's. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that's where, yeah. Leo's. I, I was there. Yeah, I was times. there, too. <laughs> I was there, too. And now it's Watson Candy. That's right. A lot of memories at Leo's. Yes. Goodness gracious. Early and, 70s, uh, mid 70s. Yeah. And our Roland. We had Roland. That was a lot of fun. Roller skating. We did that quite frequently on a, you know, Saturday night, Friday night. And that was, was that where the uh, Walmart is? No. It was no, down. It was, it in, was down Route One. Right, like near Rama, across the street from Rama in oh, Norwood. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Couples only. <laughs> well, the skating rink was fun because, you know, the, you could get all kinds of candy, you know, and, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. just practice skating. And if you fell down, nobody really noticed you. Yeah. They'd just skate just around hang, you hang until on. you got up. <laughs> yeah, just hang around, hang on to the wall. And then Petraka's bowling alley. That was yes. a good memory. Yes. Yeah, down in the basement there. I don't think it's still there. No, it isn't because there's a new a restaurant there. Well, I think they changed it when Pete's Dream went in. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. But, yeah, in the, in the 40s and 50s, that's where people went to play mm -hmm. ten pins and all of that. It was... It was lovely. Yeah. Yeah. What else do you want to share with us? Well, you know, I don't know, just get active and get moving. A lot of nice places to walk around here. We've got our South Walpole Woods. We've got the Town Forest all behind the high school. I love to yes. go on little, you know, trips through the woods a lot. And don't forget to breathe. <laughs> and uh, let me see. I'm from Walpole, and no one could be prouder. And if you cannot hear me, I'll yell a little louder. <laughs> I love it. Well, thank you so much. Oh, you're very welcome. And I really hope I come and take a class from you. <laughs> That'd be you're, great. You're just a ball of fire, and. Mm -hmm. I admire that. Good. Yeah. So thank you very much, folks, and we will see you later, and we'll talk more about the friendly town. <laughs>